Hello and happy Friday, Friday everybody. Um, I apologize that I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, you'll have known because there's not a video that came out yesterday, but basically I worked most of the day, like all, pretty much all day. Um, I put out the one vlog that was supposed to go out the day before yesterday, and then I put out the vlog for yesterday, yesterday. Um, and it was just a lot of editing that I had to do, and there was a lot of, and it's just like, it just, it was a long day. It was a very long day, and I just didn't, I didn't really do anything, so I figured I'd, I, I didn't, just didn't, didn't film. Um, so, yeah, I, I apologize for that. But it's a new day, and I am going to be able to film a little bit today, just a little bit, not a, a whole lot. I work from uh, 3 to 8.15, and then where our, some of my coworkers and I are doing this um, event gathering type thing uh, later tonight, so I wouldn't be able to film as much for that either. Um, but for now, I can, so yay! It is currently noon, or noon o'clock, as I say sometimes. Um, I ate breakfast maybe like half hour ago. Um, something like that. Um, I was up. I just was in bed. I do that a lot. I was watching um, Kennedy Center Honor videos of like old bands like or old artists like the uh, Paul McCartney or like the Eagles, um, Sting, Billy Joel, people like that. And it made me start to think like, like I'm like worried about the music generation that's to follow. Like I feel like, like there was a thing watching Billy Joel, <clears throat> excuse me, and Tony Bennett who was presenting for him said like said something about the American songbook and then how Billy Joel rewrote the new American songbook and I started thinking about the artists like Sting like Bruce Springsteen like the Eagles and stuff like that and how like the true like heart of the music was still there now I feel like we're losing it a little bit like it started becoming like I don't know like it's all computerized like it, I'm not saying that like some of the music that's coming out now is bad but I'm just thinking like in my head like will this be the music that, like, we're singing generations from now? Like, because I always think, like, going into car trip, car trips with my father or, like, just my parents in general, um, it's changed a little bit now to, like, more, like, they listen to a little bit more country. But, um, but growing up, I think, and it's, honestly, I think it's because of this reason they listen to more country. Because um, growing up, I would always be in the car, and there was a station called w, WNCX, Cleveland's Classic Rock, and it was always, always stuff like, playing like the Eagles or Leonard Skinner or Motley Crue or just like all of these like older artists, things that are now considered classic rock sort of thing. And like, I'm thinking like, that's like, that's the music I grew up listening to. So like, I listen to the music of my father's, but like, will they, will my children, if I ever like eventually in the, the distance, like, will I, will my kids, like, what will they grow up listening to? Will they grow up listening to like the chain smokers or like, I don't know, like Kanye West or something like that. Like, or, I don't know, like, I, I, I fear that this music is dying and it's not okay. So I, I am calling for a movement. This is a movement. We, will, we cannot let this music die. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Because it's too good. And it's honestly, it's the roots for everything else that music is being created today. Sorry, small rant for the morning, but I'm creating a playlist. Which is why I, I kind of got on a little bit of a high horse there. It's called The Day the Music Lived because pun, 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 instead of The Day the Music Died. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be featuring a lot of like older artists such as the Beatles, the Eagles, um, and then like Paul McCartney and John Lennon because of like how they left. Maybe George Harrison, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then just other artists that are older in general. Artists that I knew like my, our parents grew up listening to, clearly, but also artists that I also grew up listening to because of my parents. So, you know, I, I just want to say thank you for giving me that, that, I, I don't think I want to, I don't want to say window of opportunity, but like that, that little plug for like your generation that, that says like, Hey, this music is better than yours. And it kind of is, I don't want to say that it is because like, I love all music, but like, eh, it's kind of better because like it is, oh, sorry. But enough of that rant onto this rant. Uh, yesterday it was like 38 degrees. Today it's supposed to be 60. Tomorrow it's supposed to be like 68. Okay. Uh, another, chalk another one up for Ohio weather. That's... <sighs> but I can't complain that much because, I mean, hey, uh, it's warm. So I can wear shorts. It's only supposed to be warm for like a week and then it's supposed to get cold again. So that's annoying. But 
It'll be warm enough that I could wear shorts comfortably and maybe like long sleeve sh shirt or like baseball shirt, maybe t-shirt depending on the time of day or if I go outside or anything like that. But I don't know. It's going to be warm and I'm excited. But, um, but yeah, no, there's nothing else I have to say about that. That's, that's, that's it. But as far as today goes, um, I don't know what I'm doing before three. I have some hour, a couple hours to kill, as I said. Um, probably going to keep making this playlist for a little while. It shouldn't take necessarily that long. Um, I have to keep thinking about old artists uh, that I can put. And also, I know my dad watches these. If you could go ahead and comment on the video some artists that uh, that you would like me to put on this playlist so we can listen to it in the car someday the next time I see you, um, go ahead and comment down below if there are any, anyone else that uh, has any old artists. I'm talking like, like at the very, very earliest, no, or very latest, like late 80s. And the earliest, maybe like early 60s, mid 60s, somewhere in there. So like the music that like my dad would have grown up listening to sort of thing, my mom would have grown up listening to, and also like music I grew up listening to because of the uh, the rock, the classic rock station. But if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. But other than that, um, and I'm sorry for the same background of shot, but other than that, um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, what is wrong? Uh, I have to go and do a small load of laundry, just a little, little load of laundry um, that didn't get done the last time because I, there was just so much laundry that I couldn't finish it. Um, I have to fold the laundry from last time because that's been sitting in the dryer for two or three days now because I haven't had time to fold it. But um, I'm gonna do that as I'm making this playlist. It'll be interesting, but I'll, I'll get it done. Um, but then after that, I don't know if, what I'm gonna be doing, honestly, um, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. So I did a lot more work on the playlist. I unfortunately didn't get to laundry because I was so wrapped up in the playlist and then I had to take a shower and get ready for work, which is where I'm about to go now. Um, also, sorry that like I haven't been able to do anything really um, for like the past two weeks, roughly, like actually like, go and, and go places. Um, I'm trying to get better at that, but at the same time, like it's my last semester and like I like to have time for friends. So I'm going to try to include them a little bit more just as much as I can, um, but yeah, uh, I have to go to work right now, um, but I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Just got back home now, I'm very tired, it's um, one, have a safe night, always remember to stay safe, and have a good night.